Now, what's been going on here in the Gaza Strip, um, that land was once all Palestinian land. They were displaced out of their land, kicked out of their land. Uh, many people who had homes were literally taken from their homes. So imagine, you know, you paid off your house, you know, your, your mortgage and, you know, your whole family's been living there for generations. And they just say, you know what, this place is no longer yours. And they come and move into your home, literally just like that. Like they just evict you out of your home for no reason. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much what's been going on. And that's where the conflict started uh, in the Strip. Um, and those are the stories that are not being told uh, that are um, making it seem like they just hate each other because of religion. And that's not what it is. You know, um, I'm no, I'm far from a Muslim. I am far from uh, um, a Christian or any religious fashion. But uh, at the end of the day, I recognize oppression when I see it. Um, and, you know, sometimes people don't have a voice uh, and you have to be their voice. So my social media pretty much has turned into uh, at this stage of life, um, just a, a voice piece for pa Palestinian people uh, until they cease fire. OK, OK. So what I know you say has been going on for a long time, but why all of a sudden? It seems like this big burst of media coverage on it. You know, is that by design or is it just, you know, I mean, just inform us if, if there's any reason behind that. So there's several variables behind it. Israel will tell you it's because there was an attack on October 7th by terrorists from mm -hmm. Palestinian, mm -hmm. um, from Palestinians. But in fact, the more you dig, you know, um, anytime you want to find something that's really going on, you got to follow the money. Right. You got to follow the dollar. So really what's 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 happening is uh, there's a couple of events that have transpired. A, uh, the BRICS situation uh, it has rolled out as of November 1st. Um, okay. So the um, U.S. dollar compared to the BRICS dollar is is one to 50. OK, so uh, the the Russians, uh, South Africa, just so you know what BRICS is, BRICS is um, for those who don't know, uh, it's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, all on the same team, creating their own economic force, their own dollar. Okay, so, and this, uh, as you can imagine, this group of people coming together, these continents coming together, is very, very strong, uh, five times as strong as the United States. So with that being said, the U.S. is on a rush uh, to try and find some sort of economic space within that infrastructure uh, of dealing with trade, oil, um, and everything else that comes with that in the, in the natural resources that come out of Africa. So uh, we can never, you know, as a U, as Americans, allow Putin to have one up. So this whole thing uh, really uh, is about that. They're trying to form a new Silk Route, um, which is a trade route from Europe to India. And that trade route, that pipeline, uh, has to go through Israel and the Gaza Strip. So they have, Israel has to, have that land in order to make their pipeline so that they can be the biggest infrastructure in the world, the biggest economic force in the world. So that's what you're seeing happening. And that's why they have to clear out the Gaza Strip. Um, but they're making it seem like it was a terrorist attack. So that's really the underlying issue that's not being discussed, um, that pretty much those who are into politics, even just a little bit, can pretty much figure out, <laughs> you know, so. So this kind of seems like a, you know, just by how you put it, um, it kind of seems like a situation with the, or we're going into um, Iraq because of, um, because of terrorist attack on 9-11 when actuality was all about oil and something to do Absolutely. with. Absolutely. It. Right, it's right. A, it's a blueprint play that we've seen them do many times. We know how this movie ends. This is not, you know, something that is just out of the blue. Um, this is their regular strategy that has been working for them for quite some time. They cause a ruckus and then they they lay dormant for a little while. You know what I mean? They have the discipline uh, as a race of people to do that. They're familiar with this space of laying dormant and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, sneak attack and there's nothing that you can do about it. They've already grasped the market as far as media. Um, they own all the media publications. They own all the healthcare publications. They own all of uh, the entertainment uh, publication. So everything that you're seeing is going to be blanketed uh, with that perspective versus this is why social media is so important in this particular war, because mm -hmm. it's giving people who don't have a voice an opportunity to speak and to be very, very loud. And we're winning. Okay.